I am Adrija. Welcome to my study room. Today in NCERT Science Class 6, we are going to solve some questions, some multiple choice questions of Chapter 2. The name of the chapter is Components of Food. So if you want to see the other chapters, then click on the link in the description below. So let's start the first question. Which of the following food is called bodybuilding food? Okay, here are some names of nutrients. We have to find that which one of them is called the bodybuilding food. So as we know that carbohydrates give us energy. So they are called energy giving food. And proteins. Yes, proteins is called bodybuilding food. It helps us to grow. Then fats. Fats, is all, fats also give us energy, so it is also called energy giving food. And vitamins, vitamins protect us from diseases, right? So it is called protective food. So here, which of the following food is called bodybuilding food? Proteins is called bodybuilding food. So the answer is B. Now let's move to the next question. Which of the following food items is rich in fats so here you can see rice butter mango and none so over here three items are given which of the following item is rich in fat first you can see rice rice is rich in carbohydrates we every day eat rice so rice is rich in carbohydrates okay it is not rich in fats and butter yes butter is rich in fats the mango 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 is rich in vitamins it is not rich in fat actually so none no because butter is rich in fats so the answer is b now let's move to the next question dash is the disease caused by the lack of vitamin c we know there are many kind of vitamins so which disease over here names of four diseases are given out of this which disease is caused by the lack of vitamin C so we know that rickets it is caused by lack of vitamin D not by lack of vitamin C it is caused by lack of vitamin D and anemia it is caused by lack of iron scurvy yes scurvy is caused by lack of vitamin C and then beriberi no beriberi is caused by lack of vitamin b1 okay so the answer will be scurvy scurvy is the disease caused by the lack of vitamin c so the answer is c now the next question the percentage of water in human body is we know our body is covered with water. What is the percentage of water in human body? It is 70%. Okay, 70%. So the answer is D. Now the next question. Our body prepares dash in the presence of sunlight. So here are some names of vitamin given. Uh, our body prepares dash in the presence of sunlight. Vitamin D, Vitamin C, Vitamin A or Vitamin B. So, our body prepares Vitamin D in the presence of sunlight. Okay. So, the answer is A number. Now, let's move to the next question. Dash is essential for forming hemoglobin in the blood. Here, minerals, some minerals are given. Calcium, Iron, Phosphorus, magnesium. Which of the following is essential for forming hemoglobin in the blood? Okay, so here calcium. No, it is it is good for forming bones and teeth, right? And uh, phosphorus is also not the answer. And magnesium, no, magnesium is also not the answer. And iron, yes, iron is essential for forming hemoglobin in the blood. So the answer is b now the next question the essential components of our food are called what so first is fats then minerals nutrients and proteins 
We know that fats, minerals and proteins are one kind of nutrients. So the essential components of our food are called nutrients. Not only fats, not only minerals, not only proteins. The essential components of our food are called nutrients. So the answer is C. Now let's move to the next question. Goiter is caused by deficiency of iron, calcium, iodine or phosphorus. We know that goiter is a disease so it is caused by deficiency of which minerals? Okay, Iron, calcium, iodine or phosphorus. So it is caused by the deficiency of iodine. Okay, this means the answer will be C. Goiter is caused by deficiency of iodine. Now the next question. Dash is a complete food. A complete food means that the, all the nutrients should be present in it. Okay. Over here some names of food items are given. Papaya, milk, pulses or swabbing. So over here we know that milk is a complete food. Papaya is not a complete food because it is not made with all the nutrients. Right. And pulses also and swabbin also. They are not complete food. So milk is a complete food. It is made with all the nutrients. Okay. So dash is a complete food. Milk is a complete food. Answer is B. Now the next and the last question. Carbohydrates are what? Energy giving food, protective food, bodybuilding food and none of this. So we know that carbohydrates example are rice, wheat etc. They give us energy right. So they are not called protective food. They are also not called bodybuilding food. They are called energy giving food. Okay. So the answer will be A. If you like this video, click on like button and share it with your friends and subscribe for more videos. Thank you.